Okay, so someone wanted to see a demonstration of how to highlight the correct answer when the wrong answer is selected, because right now it just says incorrect and does not say what the right answer is. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just create a visual effect, and that visual effect will move to the correct answer when the wrong answer is selected. So let's go to game object, we'll go to particle system, and we'll just quickly whip up a uh, kind of like an aura effect here. Not going to go into really uh, detail about what I'm doing, just meant to, um, like I said, just make a basic visual effect. Put that at 10 because everything else is at 0. That way it's behind it. And just to be safe, we'll set the order in layer to negative 1 just to make sure it's behind it. The requester asked for green. So there we go. And... Let's have the size over lifetime change at the end so it just doesn't abruptly disappear, kind of trails off. And let's make it a little less evident of it appearing to begin with. It's kind of Start small rather than appearing full size. And let's just increase the emission. There we go. Let's see how that looks. And let's have that be pre warmed. There we go. So now the key is this is going to be moved around based on which answer is correct. Now we're already tracking the correct answer. And what we do is we have the correct answer variable, but the marker is placed on the random question value. So whatever the random question is that's selected, it chooses the corresponding value. So what we're going to do is first let's rename this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make, let's see, we need to have right now text control is attached to the game, uh, the question text game object. So that's really acting like the GM object, is the game master, so to speak. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this aware of this. So we just go right into text control, and we create a new variable, public transform, and it's going to be Aura OBJ. And now we just drag and drop the Aura object onto Aura OBJ. And now the question text object can make modifications to the Aura object via this script. So that gives us almost what we want already. So we want it to be activated only when the wrong question is printed out uh, is selected and we only want to appear at the right location now the good news is these answers are all at fixed locations they each have their own um, horizontal and vertical position so since that doesn't change it's easy enough just to place it in the right place so 
So this is looking for a match between the correct answer and the selected answer. So this is what happens when the wrong answer is chosen. It's the aura object that we're modifying. So aura object dot get component. And then it is transform. Dot position. And there are going to be four positions that it's going to appear in. So it's probably not the most concise way to do it, but I'm just going to put in four if statements that check to see what the right value is. So we'll leave that incompleted for a moment. So if, and the number we're looking at is this. So if the correct answer equals equals one, then we want it to appear in one place. And then it's just rinse and repeat those two statements for the other three questions. So answer one is up there. So you should be able to just see if we slide this over equals new vector three, negative 7.3 F, got to put in the F because it's a uh, decimal, 1.71 F and zero. And that's it really. Uh, now it's just rinse and repeat. It's the whole idea where you're just checking, okay, what is the correct answer and put it where that answer is located. So if answer is number two, click on number two, and that's where number two's position is. So it's 0.7. It's three. That is that position. And four. Okay. So that just about gets us where we need to be. Now it looks a little bit cumbersome, but again, it's really two lines of code just repeated for the four locations. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this to begin with. And the other thing that we have to do is we have to reset it with that when the next button gets clicked, this has to go away. But let's just make sure that when we click on the wrong answer, it moves to the right place. So let's click on the wrong one. Sure enough, it highlights Mexico City. The positioning is not quite right. Uh, probably because the size of the particle system is different than the size of that. Next. So like I said, we need to reset it because it's still there, but we're just checking to see if it's going to move to the right place. So it's Havana. There we go. It moved there. Next, Germany. So it's Berlin. Sure enough, it moved there. So we're 90% there. With just those few lines of code, we are now highlighting the correct answer. But like I said, it's not lined up quite right so we're just going to tweak this a little bit they all needed to be slightly lower so we'll just move it by 0.1 and then that would be good enough you can always tweak it on your side if you want it to be uh, more precise okay so now we need to reset when the um, next button is clicked so when this gets clicked because the next button script is attached to the next object. When that gets clicked, I suppose we could either move it off screen 
I don't think that's going to create any problems. So what we need is we need a... Sorry, I didn't mean to click over there. We need a new variable, a static variable, because we need these two systems to to talk to each other, uh, not these two systems, these two objects to talk to each other. So public static, we'll call this reset aura, and it'll be a string. And by default, it starts at no. We click on, on the next object and then reset aura gets set to Y for yes. And now what we do is we're just going to add a script to the aura itself. And we'll just check for those two values. So if reset aura, and we have, and since it's declared here, we have to identify the script. So if next button dot reset aura equals equals y, then we want, um, let's see. Get component particle system dot stop. And if it's equal to no. particle system dot play so that means when we click on the wrong answer we also need to modify that so we want to have again go into the next button script dot reset aura and it will be set to no here so when you choose the wrong one the aura starts moving again or starts playing again. Uh, aura 1761. Aura 17. Actually, I think these both have parentheses after them as well. Yep, sorry about that. Okay, so we click on the wrong answer, so it highlights Brazil, click on next, and there you go, it disappears. It doesn't disappear really quickly, but it does disappear. So France, we'll choose the wrong one, and there we go. And next, and it disappears. Um, about the only way you could make it disappear faster if you just set the speed of that to be faster, and it probably doesn't have to be as long um, because right now it's coming out all the way to here, and it really doesn't need to if you're dealing with these short word answers. So you can just kind of mess with it a little bit, kind of thumbnail it into where you want it to be, but that should do it. So now when you click on the wrong answer, the correct answer gets highlighted. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see, just let me know.